What is going on everybody? My name is Uriel here and what I have here is I believe a couple of MacBooks. I ordered this last week. What I'm excited about is one of the MacBook is an actual regular MacBook, but it's in aluminum. This was the time where Apple had a very confusing year. So this is a 2008 MacBook. There's really no pro if you open this right here, you can see it just says regular MacBook. It looks exactly like MacBook Pro, but without the functioning backlit keyboard. And this is actually very clean and the hinge is very nice and tight. That's pretty interesting. The best part about this MacBook is the fact that you can easily just pop this thing out and upgrade it from here. Oh, it's pretty loose actually. <laughs> I can't really tell what that is. Anyway, going back, the best part about this MacBook in your body is the fact that you could easily just take the battery out if I can. There you go. And swap it out for another one if you have one laying around back in the day. I believe they only last about like four to five hours back then. We're gonna go ahead and see if there's battery on this. Oh, it does. Look at that. You can see how reflective the display is. And I believe this is a TN panel. Comparing this from an 08 regular aluminum unibody MacBook to a MacBook Pro, we could really see the big difference between the display quality. Um, this side doesn't work, but this side works. <laughs> That's always great. And shut this down. All right, I'm back. I got AC adapter just in case it dies. I got a hard drive containing Big Sur Open Patch Legacy. And then I got the iFixit screws that we can fix the trackpad and if an upgrade the RAM. I got a whole box of RAMs and all these screws. We're gonna go ahead and try opening this again. One of the solutions to this is by tightening the trackpad up. That's a little too tight. Let's go ahead and try that again. Just a little bit of calibration and tightening up the trackpad really does the job here. So now it should be working perfectly fine. Time to turn this off and upgrade the RAM to four gigs. I have a magnet here to put all the screws and start disassembling the computer. And this uses a regular uh, Phillips head. Take this out, see how dirty this is. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see. Take this out. That's not coming out, is it? I have a million of these one gigabyte. They're absolutely useless now, which is unfortunate. As you can see here, I have a gazillion one gigabyte sticks. I have eight gigs here actually. Now I'm curious if it would actually start with eight gigs. We got eight gigabytes of RAM. If you plug in the battery and it beeps, that means that unfortunately does not work. Yep. It does not work. So you have... Okay, okay, I got you, I get you. I guess 8 gigabytes of RAM does not work. Let's see if these work. This is 1067. We have to plug this in again. Retrace our steps. Install the battery again. All right, it works. So now we just need to screw these screws back into place. And the last one on the bottom. This small screw belongs to the most right here. Leave this unlock. What I have here is open core Big Sur patch. What essentially this does is run this old 2008 MacBook to a much more recent 2020 version of macOS. Now this isn't the latest by no means, but this is, I believe, one of the faster recent macOS you could run on a computer like this. And you can still run recent apps or software. What we have to do is just go hold alt or option and click if I boot and then we're going to go ahead and install macOS Big Sur. Agree. Once this finishes up, we can officially boot up to Big Sur. Morning has turned into night in a couple of hours. I just completely forgot about this whole shenanigans over here. I am back with a freshly installed 2008 aluminum MacBook. And first things first, oh my goodness. This display is horrendous. Now, if you guys didn't know, I believe what Apple did was, you know, the 2006 and the 2008 MacBook white polycarbonate plastic display. I believe what they did was just use that display. Absolutely horrendous, even back in the day. Well, I guess it was pretty decent at the time. But the worst part about this is the fact that Apple put a glass in front of the display. It wasn't so bad with the regular polycarbonate MacBook because there's nothing obstructing the view of the display, even though it wasn't really that good to begin with. Like it, it just feels so reflective and feels so dim. Like a lot of times I keep thinking this was like half brightness. So this is the regular MacBook. What you guys don't get instead of the Pro is the SD card. 
and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Everything you see here, except for this port, forgot what that is. I believe that's a microphone port. They don't have that on the Pro in the 2009, but you also still get the little indicator for the battery here. I think this is where Apple really messed up, even today. Upgradability with ease. All I have to do is just pry this open and this is very much usable in 2024. Don't even get started with the fact that, oh, this is an old computer and it doesn't run properly. Well, yes, it does. Let's go ahead and go to Safari here. Now that we're connected to Wi-Fi, let's go to YouTube. You can see some frame drops here and there. Forget how good this speaker is. <laughs> and when I say good, I mean, you know, it's not bad in today's standard. Very loud, but it also is very tinny at the same time. This is all the way up, but Again, very tinny with no bass. Let's go ahead and put it a full screen. Yeah, this is running 1080p actually already, which is good. A dark shot like this, a dark scene of a movie, you literally see yourself. <laughs> you can watch YouTube with ease on this and even stream music if you go to SoundCloud. And we can play some jazz music. Hey there, I'm Marin Morris. With well, that's an ad, but you get the idea. Because you're running a much newer version of Mac OS with Open Core Patcher, that means you could also install apps like Spotify. Downloading a lot of applications now that you're running Big Sur is a lot better than El Capitan, which was, I believe, the last supported version for the 2008 Illumina MacBook typing test. I'm not really good with typing. Water and cation. Drink too much water without getting extra minerals. Wait, I did not know that. That's that's pretty interesting. You get the point, guys. Most computer is perfectly fine with web browsing. If you're running Big Sur or later with Open Core Patcher, you can use iMessage, you can use iCloud, you can use FaceTime. If all of your productivity is through Safari or Google Chrome or any web browser, I think you should be fine with this computer. The battery isn't the best and even back then at four hours isn't really known to have a best battery. Don't expect a lot. I think that's gonna do it for this video guys. I really did not have any issues with this computer. Everything seems to be working. Speakers are great. The display as much terrible as it is it's still working and overall this body of this computer is actually really nice i think the only downside of this macbook instead of a 2009 macbook would be not having a backlit keyboard it's very out of place it feels like it's a prototype and i feel like that's what makes this very interesting because as we all know a year after this we have the plastic unibody which replaces this computer you know that has a lot better battery life and a lot better display because it doesn't have a glass in front of it anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i mean you know this i love doing this stuff if you guys have any more questions don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i'd be happy to answer any of the questions you guys have in mind with these computers i'll see you guys later peace out